Hi and welcome to my next video. Today we'll be talking about version control in Unity using Git. So we'll be using the GitHub for desktop software. So we'll not be using any command line codes. So all we'll be doing is use the UI of GitHub for desktop to create a repository, then commit and to push the changes online. Now, if you're new to version control and Git and you don't understand these terminologies, then here is a quick overview for you. When we make a change, uh, Git gives you an option to commit the changes. That means save it as a version. So when you click on commit, Git basically saves the snapshot of the changes that you've done in your local machine. Then you have an option to push the changes online and the folders where the changes are saved is called a repository. So Git basically creates a local version and an online version. So whenever you commit a change, the local version gets updated and whenever you push the change online, the online version gets updated. So to use the GitHub software locally, you'll have to download GitHub desktop and this is available for Windows and Mac only. So download this and once you download, you'll also need a login for your GitHub. So go to GitHub and create a login. After that, open up the desktop software. It will ask you to log in. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen like this. Now to convert your Unity project into a GitHub repository, just click on create a new repository on your hard drive. Then give it a name. Let's call it Unity Tutorial. Then select the path of your Unity project. Description is not mandatory. So once you've done that, under Git Ignore, make sure you select Unity. Check initialize the repository with a readme and click on Create Repository. Now it will take some time and you will see zero files here. The reason you don't see any Unity project files here is we want the Git files on the root project folder. But when you create a new repository using this software, it creates a folder with the name of your repository. For example, I've mistyped it as UITY tutorial. So there'll be a folder by the name UITY tutorial. So we'll have to go to the project folder and inside that we'll find this folder. So what you have to do is just set all these files and move them to your root project folder. And you can now delete this folder. So once you've done that, go back to your GitHub for desktop. Then it will say, I can't find this project. Click on locate. You select the root Unity project folder. That is in my case, Unity State Tutorial and click on select folders. So once you've done that, you'll see all your Unity files here. Now, since this is the first time there, is, there, were, there were no files before this, uh, all the files are showing under change files. So you just give it like a name, like we'll call it first commit and then click on commit to main. Once you're committed all the changes, you should not see any file changes here. Now, if you go to your Unity project and let's create a new scene and let's call the scene, it'll don't save the current scene. Okay, we have a new scene here and we'll save it inside the scenes folder and we'll call it test. So once you do that and click save, there'll be a new scene here. If you go back to GitHub, it will show the changes that you've made. So if you think the changes that you've done are significant from the last version that you've saved, you can just click on commit to main so that this change will also be saved. I'll write a summary here, say that new scene created, and then we'll say commit to main. So now the changes are committed to main. And if we go to history, you can see we have an initial commit, which was done by the software when it created the folder. Then we del deleted the folder and moved the contents to the Unity project root file. And once we did that, we did our first commit, which has all our Unity files. And then we created a new scene. And this was the changes in that scene. Now, if you want to revert these changes back, you can just right click and you can say revert changes in commit. So once you've done that, if you go back to Unity, you can see that the test scene is now disappeared. Now to push a commit online, you click on publish repository, give it a name and click on publish repository. So it will basically create a folder with the name that you're providing on GitHub and then it will save all your Unity files there. Now that you have your file online, you can log in from any desktop and use the pull feature to get all your files wherever you want. So this was the basics of using version control with GitHub in Unity. So if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.